Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this fourth video on gate series for metallurgical engineers. In this YouTube video series, I'm talking about different important concepts associated with metallurgical engineering and material science. In this video, I'll talk about BCC, FCC and HCP systems. The BCC or body center cubic systems, there are eight atoms at the corners and one atom at the center. So the total number of atoms per unit cell is one by eight into eight since each atom at corner is shared by seven other atoms. So the effective contribution of each atom at corner is one by eight. So the total number of atoms per unit cell is one by eight into eight plus one. This atom is present at the center and the total number of atoms is two. The coordination number, that is number of atoms surrounding a particular atom in BCC is eight. Suppose we take this atom, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight atoms surrounding this central atom. That is why coordination number for BCC systems is eight. Then comes the concept of atomic packing factor or how much fraction of the unit cell is occupied by the atoms. That is what we mean by atomic packing factor. It is given by number of atoms per unit cell into volume of each atom upon volume of unit cell. Number of atoms per unit cell in BCC structure is 2. Volume of each atom is 4 by 3 pi r cube and volume of unit cell is a cube where a is the dimension of the this lattice. In the, B, in the case of BCC, A equals to 4R by root 3. And if we put 4R by root 3 in this equation, we get atomic packing factor of 0.68. It means 68% of the volume is occupied by atoms in the BCC system. Some of the materials which exhibit BCC structure is iron, vanadium, niobium, and chromium. Then phase center cubic or FCC crystal systems. Here we have eight atoms at the corners and we have six atoms at the faces. So these eight atoms at the corner, each atom at corner is shared by seven other atoms and each atom at face is shared by one other neighboring atom. That is why the total number of atoms per unit cell is one by eight into eight plus half into six. That is one plus three, four. The coordination number in case of FCC systems is 12. It means each atom in FCC crystal structure is surrounded by 12 other atoms. The atomic packing factor, that is the number of atoms per unit cell into volume of each atom upon volume of unit cell is a 0.74. Since there are four number of atoms present in unit cell, the volume is four by three pi r cube and the value of A in FCC systems is 2 root 2 r. So if you put the value of a equals 2 root 2 r in this equation, we will get 0.74. It means 74% of the total volume in the FCC system is occupied by atoms. Some of the materials which exhibit phase center cubic structure are aluminum, nickel, silver and copper. Then comes hexagonal closed pack or HCP structure. Here, there are 12 atoms at the corners and each atom at the corner is shared by five other atoms. There are two atoms at the faces and each atom at the face is shared by one other neighboring atom and there are three atoms at the center. So, the total number of atoms per unit cell is one by six into 12 plus half into two plus three is, that is six. The coordination number in case of HCP is also 12, that means each atom in a FCP structure is surrounded by 12 other atoms. Here also the atomic packing factor is 0.74. Here we use C by A equals to 1.633, where C is the longest unit cell length and A is the short unit cell length. This is C and this is A. Now let's talk about the density of metallic solid or how dense a metallic solid will be. So the density of metallic solid is given by rho, which is number of atoms associated with each unit cell, A, that is atomic weight, 
VA, that is volume of unit cell, into NA, which is Avogadro number. So if we put all these parameters, we will be able to figure out what is the theoretical density of the metallic solid which we want to, uh, which we are working on. In the next video, I'll be talking about crystal defects, imperfections, and more specifically, I'll be discussing about point defects. Thank you.